morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing? Or good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, hi, welcome to Color and Chat with Joanna. I'm Joanna. How are you? I'm a mess, man. I am still, still killing it on the mask. Um, and uh, I got a little lowly, so I said, let me go talk to the peoples because, you know, you guys have been so sweet and I have been flubbing up on the lives. I don't know why I just, you know, I look at myself in the mirror and go, damn, that's going to take a minute. I mean, really, just to not look like something out of a movie I'd be too afraid to watch. Um, by the way, speaking of movies, has anybody seen the Fallout movie? I, you know, I kind of want to see it because I do love Emily Blunt and I love Ryan Gosling and I, but you know, my son said, you have to watch this. I, I played this game for years, mom. And it's so, it's so good, but it's a little gory and I'm like, Okay, well, that pretty much chases me out of the room. Anyway, I don't know. I'm thinking about just trying and, you know, the, the you know, the, the scary movie thing. I got to get over it, but I don't want to get over it because why? Can we just not like what we don't like? I mean, really? Okay, so, um. This is what I've got left. Now I got a lot of crap here. Hold on a minute. Look, all of that. Oh, hold on a minute. God, you guys are so moody today. Pens are flying everywhere. I gotta get everything off of here. My glasses. Notice no chain of shame because I hit it again. Um, but he keeps finding it and saying, here, put your chain of shame on. I'm tired of looking for your glasses. This poor man. I mean, really looking for my lost crap is his full-time job. Okay. All of this. Oops. Didn't quite clear that. All of this is done. All I have left to do is like maybe seven squares. But let me tell you about. All right. First of all, J Wall is a big fatty fat liar because she shows you the image and there's all these colors. And then you're in Brown Cow Town. I mean, really forever and there's just literally I mean don't even try a multi-placer you might get one or two but not like like I like to use my big one you know but then again I just finished the bird and the bird had all the <laughs> this poor diamond painting she is so pissed at me. I can feel the pissed on it. I can feel it. Um, Get that out of the way. I already put uh, the paper. See? See how organized I am? Special round drills. <laughs> I just shove them in here. <laughs> have out of a box <laughs> because if I get a box I'm just going to get more stuff to put in it um <laughs> hello George George is getting upset I don't know why he's been like bugging out all morning there must be the trash people coming or something anyway I just don't I don't want to get peer pressured into scary movies. I don't know why. 
What is the thrill in getting scared? I mean, honestly, what is it? You know? I don't dislike people because they they're they're scary movie aficionados. I get you. It's okay. We're not we're not supposed to agree on everything. We're individualized human beings, but really but really I'm getting to a point where anyway yeah, so my poor diamond painting. I've had to start her and put her back and start her and put her back because unwittingly I uh, signed up for events and this is what happens. Now I've got four whips. That's a lot for me because I'm not a whippy... Hey, he's up there digging up my carpet. Uh, dude, sir, can I help you? He goes right back to it. <laughs> I know. Sounds like he's tearing the limbs off of somebody's body. George, cut it out. Um, anyway. I am so glad that you guys understand my situation about the the last live I did, which was at the beach for the eclipse. <laughs> I'm like, look, we tried, we failed, we had fun. I see people do these lives like, you know... There's a channel. Oh, it is so good. You guys have got to go to it. If you ever just want to get away from all the court nonsense, and God knows there is a lot of uh, craziness in the in the court. I, I can't even keep up with some of these trials. Anyway, um, if you ever feel like you just want to kind of get away from it all, there is a guy. His name is Tim. Uh, Tim and Gabby. They live in the UK. They used to live in Essex, which I couldn't help wondering if uh, they knew about my Cindy Shout out to Cindy at Diamond Painting Fanatics. She is in her new house. She is back up and rolling. She's doing her giveaway. She's she's rocking the hell out of it. I'm telling you. I'm so proud of her. Girl, you're you're doing it. You're making it happen. And uh yeah. She got me a quickie on a on a new uh, buy that's not even, like, arrived yet. I think it just went up yesterday. But anyway, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, I still want that fairy girl. But, you know, when I saw that blonde beauty with the tiger, I went, oh, hello. All I could think about was when I used to walk Rasa and Mufasa and they, I would just, you know, they would just love to just walk because even though their paddocks were really, really big, um, you know, animals need to roam. Tigers are roamers. They have to just walk around, spray all over you, stop to play a little bit, look around and see if anybody, I had to make sure nobody was coming and that it was very quiet because you don't want any distractions when you have a 400 pound animal on a dog leash. That's just not, 
something you want to be bothered with. So, um, yeah, but I used to just, oh, God. That cat. That cat. I mean, you know, there are psychic people out there. I'm not, I, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But they say your animals come and find you, and I hope he does. What a baby. Oh, God. What a pretty, pretty tiger. And uh, we're doing it for an event. She has she has an event coming up, but I can't do any eventing until I get this lady finished. Because it's just, oh, God, there's a lot more. Here we go. Now we got trouble. Um, George, please don't. I know what you're thinking. Please don't do it. Do not bark. It's just cutting the grass. Anyway. But yeah, so long suffering is like, you know, he just, the walk with me, Tim is the name of the channel and his wife has a channel too. Uh, hers is more, she is a singer and a damn good one. She sings like a lot of ABBA and eighties stuff. And I just love her. She's, she's, I'm like, oh God, I could just go karaoke all night with this girl. Anyway, she's adorable. And, uh, but walk with me, Tim. He goes to these hotels all over the world. Now, some of the hotels, like he's been to the Alberge in Dubai, um, the one that everybody looks at. We're not even allowed to walk around in the lobby if you're not a guest don't go there they'll shoot you um and uh he i mean he picks apart every hotel room he goes to he looks under the mattress like under the sheets to see he's got a real issue with bed bugs because he got a really bad case of them and brought them home and I mean they had to get new bedding and everything because it was just out of control these were like woolly mammoth house cat bed bugs they were huge but so now he you know and he and he looks around and he tells you you know all about the area he goes to Spain, he's been to uh, Slavard. Um, he stays in a one-star hotel. He'll stay in a five-star hotel. And he's just, he's a fun influencer. He's not pretentious. He's not full of crap. He's an easygoing guy. And if you just want to detox... If you just want to chill out, he's your guy. Go listen to him for a little bit, you know, the, but he makes these videos and they're like smooth as glass. And John's like, well, that's easy. We just need a stabilizer. Do you think that long suffering was prepared at all, at all for the eclipse? No. No stabilizer, no GoPro, no sound, no nothing. I mean, I was like, dude, you know, where's all our stuff? Oh, God. It was a fiasco. It really was, but it was so much fun. Um, You know, you can only do what you can do, right? I mean, what are you going to do? He was trying to, uh, make me a grilled cheese sandwich the other day. And I was like, Ooh, yum. So I'm sitting in bed because 
after being in this chair for two or three or four hours, oh man, my back. Do you guys get it too, where your back just goes out and says, you are so fired. Just go to bed and don't talk to me anymore. Well, my back did that. She got mad at me. Um, kind of like this diamond painting. <laughs> I've had to put her away so many times. And she's like, uh, finish me or die. I'm like, I'm like, she's serious. I think this thing's going to come and get me in the night if I don't finish it. But I'm probably about, <sighs> I don't know, maybe... The thing I like to think is that I can do like a row a day. I diamond paint pretty quickly, usually. Usually. Not her. Not Miss Jojo here. Mm-mm. Josephine Wall? No. You're lucky to get a square. I mean, it is so confetti heavy and I'm not usually that bothered by the confetti I probably should just get my little boxes out but right now I'm able to kind of you know, I'm in like little brown cow town I'm probably missing a few of these but here's the deal you know what once you get it up on the wall Nobody notices. It's really, really not that hard. Um, but it's so many shades of brown. Where I'm thinking, look at all this beautiful purpleness. Look, look. You know? And then they flood you with all this icky, yucky brown cow stuff. Come on, guys. They won't come out. Look. These trays are not... I don't know. They're not loving me either. But, um... Hold on a minute. 37... Oh, yes, another shade of brown. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Look at all the brown. I had to, I had some purple for a little while. Hold on. Sorry, 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 microphone. Don't get mad at me. Um, but there's no getting out of this. There's no easy way out. I just have to pummel into it. And not give up. And see, this looks exactly like, I mean, I know it's part of the shading, but I don't see it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. What are you guys working on anyway? Um, I want to say hello and do some shout outs. I think I'm going to wait till Thursday. I will show up. Uh, don't know what I'm going to wear. I don't know. Larry's gone. Larry David is over. But they had the best finale, the best finish ever. Because it was so funny. Um... The reason that Larry, I can spoil it now because I'm sure everybody's seen it by now. But um, if you haven't, sorry, I'm going to talk about it. Larry, <laughs> you know, everybody hated the season finale of Seinfeld. And it's kind of like he's trying to make up for, you know, the oopsie. That he did on Seinfeld. And he goes, come on, you're out of jail. You're free. You can go home. And he goes, what? He said, she just sentenced me to like five years. So 
like, no, no, no. Guess what? The guy that I saw who looked just like Joe Pesci, he was in the restaurant. And when I said, hey, does anybody ever tell you you look like Joe Pesci with that hair? It's like, yeah, well, what's your effing problem anyway, you know? So he does the whole Pesci thing and he goes, yeah, Jerry says he talks just like that. Well, he was on the jury and he was supposed to be sequestered and he wasn't. So they threw out the case, which is what I'm hoping is not going to happen. I know we got Mr. Mr. 92 indictments over there who was actually caught napping. <laughs> like, oh, God, my life is at stake, my freedom. But I'm going to take a nap. You know, I mean, never saw Joe Biden taking naps in the middle of the day, but maybe he does too. Who knows? I am pro-nap. I believe in naps. Naps are good. Naps are so wonderful because you can get up and then you can sneak in after everybody goes to bed and just... Diamond Paint Away and watch a good podcast or listen to a good audiobook, which I can't do right now. Um, I am now listening to, by the way, I, I'm going through these audiobooks like they're water, I swear to God. I mean, give me a real book. I get into bed. Put on the little book light, boom, gone in three minutes. Cannot stay awake and read in bed at night. I can't. But give me an audio book and I can get through because, let me tell you, getting through Barbara. Oh, my God. I'm so verklempt. <gasps> oh, Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. It really just got so monotonous. I mean, how do you talk about yourself? You know, I'm thinking she might just be a little narcissistic. I mean, I love her. And I will cry for a week when she passes away. But Babs, I mean, 900 pages of All About Me. Oh, my God. You know, I mean, come on. We already know everything about you, but we didn't. There are a few good, uh, there are, you get to a place in the audiobook and you're like, all right, all right, all right, I'm going to go make a bagel. I don't know why. I think she's trying to convert me. Anyway, so uh, you get to that place where you're going to quit, and then she says something totally cool that you did not know. So I, I feel like Barbara was doing her, I don't know, she's, you know, she's putting it all out there. But let me tell you something about Babs. Babs is no saint. <laughs> <laughs> Babs be getting some. I mean, really, she got around. And she was very, very good at what she picked because, well, she has a good picker. But, you know, how long do you think you can live with Babs? I mean, really. Uh-oh. I hope I'm still working. I don't know. Things are flashing around here. Lights are flickering. I'm telling you. And now I got this one wallowing. He just sits sometimes and just wallows. And then when you stop what you're doing, which is anything productive, and you go sit on the sofa. He curls up at your feet. 
and it gets all better. And that's where long suffering comes in. He's like, time to go coddle the baby. He's very needy today. I don't know why. I gave them cookies, but I didn't give the Sanasi. <gasps> Did I just say that? Shh. Say it very quiet. Snossage. That's what I was trying to say. Um. Oh my God. How many colors of brown are in here? I don't even know what I'm doing. I really. I think this might be an arm. I don't think she has wings. I don't. It's so. It's so. <sighs> I'm just not going to quit. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to get this done and framed. I've already gotten. Well, I looked at a few frames on Amazon. Jesus, they're expensive. I mean, come on. I'm not framing the Mona Lisa. Oh, my God. I'm usually very cheap on frames. I, but I, I get good framing. But I usually get it at, uh, you know, the Goodwill and... Then I have to gut it and uh, put the Mod Podge on the mat and set it to the mat. And it's all just a lot of work. And I said, forget it. You know, just, just buy a frame. Buy a frame that fits it. Well, guess what? Her, hold on. Where are her measurements? Oh, they're right here. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. Hold on. Um, here's the roller. Okay. 27.6 by 36.6. What is with the point six? What am I going to miss? I'm trimming it down. I'm just doing a 26 by 36. I'm, I'm just going to order one. And uh really, really want to get it done before my, my friend comes to see me. I'm so happy. I'm really, I'm really following through with my word of the year. You know, I started this, I think, about three, maybe four years ago. I gave myself a word, and I would try to uh, keep the word in the back of my head. This was kind of like a New Year's thing. It's not a resolution because I don't need to resolve my life. My life is fine. Get the hell out of here if you don't like my life. You know, come on. I'm not. I'm not bothering anybody. Anyway, so one year, um, what was it? <laughs> See, I don't even remember. The forgetfulness is kicking in. It won't be long now. I'll be talking gibberish. Um, okay, last year was accountability. Accountability is a big word. I don't think accountability was a fair word to use because as much as I try to be accountable for anything, it pretty much was, um, I could say I did maybe about maybe 30%, but this year, is the year of peopling and you know ever since the roni people are like hey this is not so bad 
<laughs> I'm like, what is not so bad? He's like just hanging out, telling people, you know, you can't, can't go. Bruni's out, can't go. I'm like, this is your excuse for, um, <laughs> for being antisocial. So this is the year of peopling. So I'm really excited because I'm getting to meet some people like face to face. I mean, I've got Richard coming and I can't wait because he and I are just, forget it. We're Ricky and Lucy all day. We just, <laughs> we really, we have no control over the situation at all. But I also noticed because I kind of dropped my little basket last night. I had a moment. I had a moment. And I'm going to talk about it. It's not a happy moment. Um, but there's a young firefighter in California. He was only 22 years old. His name was Jacob. Jacob Porte. Cute as a button. 22 years old. A pervy. His father with the fire department. 17 years so naturally, he's going to follow in his father's footsteps, and he wants to, you know, and he goes through academy and everything. He's on his way to the station. I worked with so many probies. I used to keep the departmental people off of the probies. I was like, uh-uh, you don't get to talk to him like that. We don't haze anymore. We don't do that shit, you know? And I watched after them and I drove them home if they didn't have a car because some of them are quite young and just, you know, they were my, my babies. And anyway, um, there's a three car accident and he is pulling up on it on highway 101 in California. Um, if you guys are from L.A., you know the 101. Um, a less than human human flies up on the highway and hits Jacob while he is trying to render aid to people in a car accident. I know. I know. I know. Get a load of this. He didn't even stop. It was a hit and run. <gasps> you piece of crap. Anyway, um, I have been to a lot. Too many firefighter funerals. And I just, oh my God his father and his family and I just want everybody to just send out every good thing you can to this poor family who has just lost a beautiful boy and he it, you can look at him and tell he's not like he's not like a douchebag you know what I mean he's not douchey he's so sweet looking kid. I feel some kind of weird and please don't come for me and call me crazy because I already know I'm there. But I just feel like this just it didn't have to happen and you know Horrible, 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 horrible. Um, and for the man who hit him and and took that that young man when his career was just beginning, 
an appropriate is, is somebody who is working on his time and his hours. You go to the academy, you learn the basics, and then you get to go work at a station and you have to put in hours before you get your bars. Anyway. Um, of course, the fire department had a huge brigade of trucks and uh, McHughes and everything. I don't know if they even... I, I don't know if his father, I think he went to the actual call. So he didn't even know that the person um, they were trying to work on was his son. Uh, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. There should never be a reason like this to lose a firefighter so young. So young, because when they're young, they're, oh, God, they are so eager and ambitious, and, and they they want to work, and they, I, they believe in the dream, and uh, I just bawled. I said, uh, you know, I, you know, left a text for Richard, and I said, I think I'm going to cry for like a week. And he called me back in like two seconds. I mean, this is how good friends are. You know, we don't have to be just computer people because some people, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? You got to trust somebody sometime. You can't go live in your whole life without trusting and living and learning and meeting new people, and it's okay. It doesn't always have to be, you know, a, a click. Maybe sometimes you meet people and you think, oh, they're lovely. We don't have a lot in common. They're lovely. Okay, you met somebody. So this year, the whole thing is about peopling, and I am going to people. And I'm trying to get Shay to come out and people too, but I don't know right now. She's in retreat hell, trying to get everything together. The panic is on. She's in her two week window. I know it. But, uh, girl, you're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Let people help you. Help is not a four letter word. I know you think it is, but it's not. Well, it is, but not that kind of four-letter word. Um. Anyway, so I'm going to try to get us out of this little dark place that we were in for a minute. Um. Just please, prayers, thoughts. Send a card. Send a card to the fire, to the police or the uh, fire department. They would love that. I think I'm just going to send a case of booze. I mean, really. And uh, I know they're going to posthumously. Did I say that correctly? If I didn't forgive me, I'm on one cup of coffee. One. Which makes this whole thing. <sighs> you hug. <laughs> I'm like. Oh. Until I'm getting through two cups of coffee. I don't even know what I'm doing in this room. But, uh, yeah. Make some friends and start peopling. And, uh, that's, that's my mission for the year. But. I still want to be careful because, you know, and I'm not worried about it. I mean, you know, some people are just, it's just people. Chill out, man. They're just people. It's okay. It's okay. But I think some of us have been in the house too long watching too much true crime, Jenny. Jenny.
Jenny, get out and go meet some people. Not everybody's a true crimer. Not everybody's a serial killer either. But, uh, <sighs> so I'm trying to plan things for us to do. I can't wait. I'm so excited, you guys. Oh, it's going to be fun. He's a dog lover. I said, leave your black sweater at home. Don't bring it here. You'll get dog hair and that sweater is so deep. Your dry cleaner will just call you and fire your ass. Like, no. But, uh, anyway, I just want to thank you guys for putting up with me the last couple of weeks. Um, I had that just, you know, I mean, it was like, I don't know, just, uh, didn't have the zhuzh, you know? My mojo was like, mohu, we're taking a break. We're on break. We're going on a government, government issued break. And sometimes I guess you need to, but I didn't want to. I got a lot to do. And I hate having these whips. I don't know how you guys put up with all the whips. Does it bother you? Does does it, you just start them and you just say, it's okay, I'll work on this one this day and this one that day. And, you know, I mean, it's okay. How do you just get by with it? Because I got to tell you, I hate having multiple projects I'm going back to what I do best. I get one diamond painting. I work on it like a lunatic. I get it done. Boom. Next, next victim. You know, I, I really, I really can't whip. I, I'm no, nope. this girl can't whip. This girl can't whip. She cannot whip, whip, whip. I know this is <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I've kept you probably 40 minutes longer than I should have. Um, listen, you are important to me, so be important to you. You, 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 where's, where's the camera? Right there. Be careful. Watch where you're going. Be careful in the car. If you got a big dog like George, don't let him ride in the front seat like I did, lunatic. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you for helping me get through this. Thank you for uh, the chat time. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please do. Come back. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jack. <laughs> anyway. Um, and if you have subscribed, thank you so much. And if you want to give this video a little thummy uppy, uh, somebody somewhere is going to give a crap about it. I don't know how this works. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still getting that little cough. Um, it's taking forever to go away. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Um, take care, and I will see you on Thursday. We will do a live at five. Um, and uh, we're going to just, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm going to come up with something fun. Something fun. Some, 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 some. We'll figure it out. Anyway, oh, and I got to give away a gadget. <laughs> Look what showed up. I did not order these. They got put in my bag. Do you know what they are? 
they're all the little um well he looks like that's harry potter that's harry potter for sure i can't get the bag open you notice how they make it like impossible to get the bags open anymore And then there's a bunch of them. These are free to give away. Look. <laughs> Look at this ridiculous thing. You put it on your straw. And then you put this over your straw. So if you're like driving or something, your stuff won't spill out of your bag. Or your straw. Your or your beverage. Now these are kind of cute. Who's the Harry Potter? I got one for you right here. You can have the whole bag. Um, there's a bunch of them. There's, oh look. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Tell me in the comments. Anyway, um, so we're gonna we're gonna give these puppies away uh, along with something else. That is going to be fantabulous. Um, that I have purchased one because I love it so much. I thought you would love it so much. And so maybe we both love the same thing. And then you'll have one and I'll have one and we'll both have one together. Um, that's the Barbie way. Yeah. The Barbie way is not like, look what I have and you don't. We don't like her. I don't know who that girl is, but, you know, she can FOMO to, mm -mm. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.